Hello guys, welcome back to Take Dose and in this video we will see the substring with concatenation of all words problem which is from lead code number 30. So let's look at the problem statement. In this problem uh, you will see that you are given a string s and an array of string words. All the string of words are of the same length okay? and a concatenated substring in s is a substring that contains all the strings of any permutation of the words concatenated. And they have also given such example you can just go through it we need to return the starting indices of all the concatenated substring in s and uh, we can return the answer in any order now let's look at an example for some better understanding uh, let's say that our given string is uh, present on the left hand side so i have marked uh, some of the indices the first character will have index zero and I've just marked a few of the indices so that it doesn't look cluttery. On the right hand side, you will see that we are given two words. Now, according to the given problem statement, we need to form a substring using uh, these words in any possible combination. So if you form all possible combination of these two uh, words combined together, you will see foo bar and bar foo. Because there are only two words, hence these are the only two combinations. But if there would have been n such words, then the number of ways you can make will be in the worst case n factorial right and since if you look at the constraint it says that the number of words will be less than equals to 5000 so you can imagine 5000 factorial will be too large therefore generating all possible combinations and doing pattern matching in the given string is not the way to go for this problem so if i can just uh, tell you about the expectation let's say bar foo is it matching yes it is matching with one possible combination so we will append index 0 because bar foo is starting at index 0 is there something else yes we have foo bar as well which is starting at index 9 so we will append index 9 and there is no other starting position so this will be the answer so we need to return all the starting position in the form of an array i hope the problem statement was clear few important points to remember before moving uh, forward to solve it is it was already mentioned in the question all the words are of the same length so if you look at the word list every word in the word list will be of the same length right and actually this point one implies point two but i have written it separately that no string is a substring of another valid word if all the words are of the same length then no string will be a substring of another so you can just make it out right so let us now look at the possible solution in this case again I have taken a similar example and what we can do is we can make a dictionary out of all the given words you can also use a map or a try so let's say we have used a hash map so the key is the word and the value part is the frequency of each of the word and let's say I will call this as the frequency map so this I have built from the words array so in this case I am assuming that my words are bar foo and the and they each have frequency 1 so this is the map which I can form. Now what I need to do is I need to start from this point and since I know the number of words, number of words are 3 and each of the word are of the same length. So you can just take one of the word and find the size, right? Therefore what will be the exact size of the substring? You can imagine it in the form of a window and the substring size will be 3 into 3 which is equals to 9, right? So if we can find a substring of size 9, that is 9 characters, where all these words are present in some combination, like it can be bar foo the, bar the foo, foo the bar and so on, right? Then we have found the match successfully. So let's start at index number 0. If we start at index 0, we will extract the first word because we know the exact size. So we can take the substring function to extract the first word. And this is bar. So we have to map it in so we have to check this bar into our map is it present in our map yes it is present so what i'll do is i'll decrease the frequency of it why are we decreasing the frequency because again a bar can occur uh, but actually in our given words the bar frequency was only one so it should not happen two times into the substring right otherwise it will be wrong therefore we need to maintain the frequency of it okay so as soon as i see a bar yes it is present i'll decrease the frequency extract the next word you exactly know how many words you need to check right three words in the current window extract the next word it will be of three size again foo is it present yes it is present so decrease the frequency again the next word foo is it present foo is present but its frequency is zero that means no more foos are allowed 
therefore uh, this is not matching and as soon as something do not match your substring cannot be found starting at this uh, given starting index 0 therefore we have to move to the next starting index right so let's try to uh, do it from the next word onwards so i am trying from f which is index 3 okay and when i am trying the next uh, i mean window then what i need to do is i need to restore all these frequencies back to its original state so if you want to use map in this way then you have to create two copies of map one will be a frequency map which is not changing and another one i'll call it as a current map which will actually uh, i mean ev every time it will be assigned with the frequency map in every run okay so now again let's restart from foo so if you restart from foo again find it yes it is present decrease the frequency again a foo comes in and uh, you see that okay i mean the frequency is not available even though the foo is present therefore this also do not work so i will start with the next starting position which is this f right so i'll again extract foo i will have to first restore the frequencies this will be one one and one so foo okay it is found make its frequency zero bar yes it is found make its frequency zero the yes it is found make its frequency zero now we have exactly uh, matched three words and they were all present into the map therefore whatever was the starting position six will be one of the starting position from where uh, we have all the words in the sequence okay in any possible permutation sequence right so six will come into our answer similarly you can just start from the next position from nine and again keep matching so you have to reset all these values to one 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 and start matching bar yes it is present make its frequency zero the yes it is present make its frequency zero if you look at the next one it will be amt right amt is not present therefore as soon as you find something not present uh, then you will stop okay and again jump on to the next word and keep on repeating the same process again the will be present but amt will not be present if you start here amt will not be present and again if you start at h again h e b i mean this will never run because you see that when you add the size of this entire window the window size it will go out of bound therefore there is no scope in starting at h it, it will never start here okay so we have done one possible run and we have found six as the only starting position containing foo the bar in any possible permutation but is this really the answer if you look at it foo bar the is one of the answer but there is another answer which was starting at index 16 so this is index 16 the bar foo right but we actually skipped over this t because there was some other word in the middle which was of different length right so the question mentioned only about the words being of the same length in the words list right only in the words list but not in the string s it will be like a continuous uh, run of characters right so there is no concept of word in between here so we have to compensate for this case and if you want to compensate for this case then we have to try out for all starting positions so we had started with starting position 0 we will have to check with starting position 1 and again check with starting position 2 but we do not want to check with any other starting position because that will all be redundant you can just check it out and that will be redundant how many times do I need to do the run of this entire string? I need to do it whatever is the word length that is uh, word size, right? Word size uh, number of times. Okay. So I have to one start with B, one start with A and one start with a R. Why didn't we pick F as the starting position? Because you see that if I had picked B as the starting position, F will be picked. Okay, because after every word size, you will be repeating the starting position, right? So it only matters to check in between the uh, word size items. Therefore, I have to check from 0 to 2. Okay, I have to repeat it. So if you start from A, let's say you started with A, A, R, F will not be present. So just leave it out like A, R, F is not present. Again, you try with O, 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 F will not be present. Again, uh, start with O. O, o b is not present again start with a a r t is not present with h h e a is not present start with m m t h is not present so start with e and so on right and again if you start with r you will see r f o o f o o b a r t h e a m and then you will suddenly find a t as the new starting position and this will be covered 
when you uh, pick this r as the starting position to do the parsing and so this will give you index 16 as well into your answer okay therefore you see that this entire run if i take this size to be let's say order of n and the window size to be order of m then you are doing n plus m how many times you are doing it uh, window number of times right so what is the size of the window it is m so n plus m multiplied by m so if you look at the time complexity i have written n plus m because each of the word size was less than equals to 30 you can check it in the constraint now substring operations are very costly in terms of runtime therefore even though it is n plus m but it will take very high time to actually run the entire code now let us look at the code for implementation of this idea. I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms which is interview dos and system design which is design dos. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions. You can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. You can see the code where the string S is given and the words, all the words are given. I have taken frequency map and the current map and current will always copy the value of frequency. Frequency uh, map will not change. So creating the frequency map where each of the word frequency is calculated and then these are all the variables as you must have seen. This will contain all the list of starting positions which I will return at the end as our answer. Now this here is actually uh, calculating all the starting position. So initially I will be starting at 0 then I will be starting at 1 and so on till n minus 1. Okay where n is the window size if you take m as the window size then let's say m minus 1 right. For each of the starting position I have uh, assigned start as the current starting position and I will run a do while loop inside it so that one part of the entire string is done in order to find where a certain combination is matching. So this current is assigned with the frequency. This is the map. And now I will extract the current word and I'm assuming uh, that we have already matched. And if we don't match, then I will uh, write matched as false. Okay. So I will be iterating for all the words one by one. Since we know there are n words into the words list, okay n number of words here there are two number of words right so n number of words extract each of the word one by one and then check it out in the map if it is present in the map and if it is present then what is the frequency is it zero if it is not present then we mark it false that we could not match or if we found it but then the frequency was zero that means we have used up all the frequencies therefore still you have to mark it as false if the current string matched then i will just decrement its frequency Okay, and once this loop is done, if we had broken out of the loop, then the matched will be equals to false. And so we will not push the result. Otherwise, if we did not break, then uh, the current starting position will be pushed into the list of answer. And then my starting position will go on to the next word, just like the sliding window. This is the entire solution code. And I hope you were able to understand it. Follow me on Instagram and like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.